I'll present the amendment to the bylaws and policies, board policy, AD, school attendance areas. It is requested that the Board of Education adopt the proposed amendments to board policy, AD. Discussion? Okay. Second, moved by Mr. Orson, second by uh, Mr. Dr. Irwin. Is there any discussion? Mr. Coleman. Just to give a 30 second update on the contents of the policy, just for those who weren't in the prior session. Yes, Mr. Coleman, um, the policy allows the, the superintendent the flexibility to make minor adjustment to um, attendance areas um, based upon changes in technology um, being adopted and used by our planning department. Um, it also still complies with the broader um, guidance to make sure that the board is informed of any such measures. Mr. Mayfield? Yeah, I'm just curious. How much flexibility does the uh, – with, with this – policy give the administration to make significant changes with multiple actions that could affect communities that the board might not be aware of until after? Uh, Mr. Mayfield, this policy is, is very limited. Um, and if I may, um, the permission is highly limited in that a minor attendance area alter alteration is defined as the displacement of a current attendance line by one-eighth of a mile or less and change of enrollment, positive or negative, of no more than five currently enrolled students. So it's a very small number um, of students that would ever be being impacted. Right, but my question really speaks to um, whether or not multiple changes of that fraction could take place in, in a series of, of, of actions without. Well, it, that's a hypothetical, so. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. But again, um, any change that would be made, would, that information would be reported to the board for your awareness. Following the. Yes. Any other discussion? Okay. Hearing none, call for the vote. All in favor, let me know by show of hands. It's unanimous. Passes unanimous. Oh, one, I'm sorry, seven to one.